Hi. What's up? We're back. Again. So. Guess what? Guess what happened? The front came back. That's true. The front came back. In the mail. Now. Now. I can let you guys in on the secret. The secret of this guitar. It's a secret, you know. Yeah, check that out. Isn't that sweetness? Yes. This is a custom piece of artwork done by Baron Engel and Dave Bryant did the, top, the typography, excuse me. And I had Igor at My Little Ties laser this for me. So it came back from New York, of all places. And this is going to be the front of our cigar box guitar. It actually has a nice little sound hole right here. But as it came back, there's a couple little spaces on her that are really thin, could break. So we're going to put some backing on that to see if we can keep it from breaking. So let's move on and find out how this is going to fit in. Okay, first things first. We're going to take a really close look at our lid here. My idea was that this would be the sound hole for the guitar when it was played in acoustic mode. But when it came back from Igor, these little pieces here are very, very weak. Um, I'm really worried about them getting broken um, during regular normal play. So I want to put something on the back to give it some support but we don't want to actually cover up the hole so sound can't come out. So went and looked for some stuff at my local Lowe's Home Depot Osh hardware store of your choice and came up with a couple of things that we could do. Um, tub strainer. It's about the right size. It's a little concave, so we'll take a look at that and see what that looks like. Two, this uh, roof vent. We can see through that. Looks kind of nice, got a chicken wire kind of look to it. So we'll cut one piece of that out and see what that looks like. And I also picked up one of these. So we'll take the screening out of this and see what that looks like. Let's check it out. Ow. Sharp. That's the part we want. <laughs> okay, squeaky chair. But anyway, so here's the way a couple of things went. Tub drain. So I took the thing off the back, pounded it out, gave it a nice rustic look. But when you put it in here, it looks kind of weird. Kind of circular, holy kind of thing. And it's a little small, just a bit too small. Boop. Gone. Number two, screen. So this is just basically your normal everyday screen material, which looks pretty good. I like it. I like the color, but it's not very supportive. So, hmm. Then we got, of course, the very supportive wire, which looks pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, but it's a little shiny. But the black looks good. Hmm. What if we do this? I, I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. Anybody, anybody want to guess where I'm going with this? Sandwich. Sandwich. Look at that. Ooh. Pretty. I think that's what we're going to do. So now that we figured that out, let's move on. Okay guys, we have our guitar pretty much laid out on the bench here. We need to determine how much of this fretboard we're keeping uh, on our 25 and a half inch scale. Because I want the bridge to land about there, which is not covering any of the artwork. So hopefully we can make it land right there. So let's put this on there our nut up there, get our handy dandy measuring tool, and figure out where we're at. That's 26, so we have to come back just a little bit. 
25 and a quarter. Five and a half. Perfect. All right. So we need to cut it off right about where I thought it was going to be, right at that cut line. So we're going to cut that off. It's going to lay right on top of the neck right here. This piece is going to move down to this end, which the neck is going to go through to about here. And that way it'll be one nice solid color all the way across. Planning. Amazing. So with that, let's see if we can get the neck set into this body. So, what we need to do is we need to get this piece of wood out on both ends of this thing. The best way to do this is with a coping saw. This is a specific woodworking tool that you can actually turn the blade 90 degrees. So you can cut this way, cut this way, and cut any way you want. It's like, kind of like a, a handheld scroll saw, if you've ever seen one of those. So, now or never. Don't mess this up, Dusty. I won't. Okay. Care if pony stare. We pull pranks in a crowd somewhere. No pony knew what we were up to. It's hard to believe that was me and you. Now we keep saying that we're okay. A special some pony is always great. Hearts and whose day was a while ago. Cheer, I want you to know. It's been so long. Perfect. You'll notice I left a little bit of the line here because I want this to be a very tight fit. So I'm going to sand this and then fit it to make sure it's nice and tight. Look at that. It's our first mock-up of it all, the way it's going to look. Neat, huh? Now, the only thing we need to worry about is how long this is going to be on the end, where we're going to chop that off. And whether we're going to put a nice detail on there or anything, we could leave it a little long, put a little apple on there or something. Wouldn't that be cool? Not sure if I'm going to do that yet. Or a hinge or something. Something that looks really cool. Um, but that's it. So we just have to figure out where we're going to hack that off. And I need to move forward. I need to fret this and I need to cut that off and install tuners and all that kind of stuff. And then figure out what kind of finish we're going to put on this. Bingo! Inside. So, you might be wondering what all these marks are for. So, right here is 25 and a half inches. Now, to get this lid to resonate, you need to actually have it this off the lid. So we need to actually hog this out a little bit with our router. And these are the marks I made. That's how much I want to take out. I've left this because I want this bridge to have full support underneath. So we're going to leave that raised up against the bottom of the lid. Second thing is what this is for. What I want to do is I want to make some supports in the corners and on these two pieces here that will be extra supports for the lid so it's not too flimsy and it gives the box some extra sturdiness. So we're going to go ahead and cut six of those and we'll hog these out and we'll be that much closer. It's been so long, my apple tree, the way I used to call cheerily. Remind me, remind me. So sweet friends, so much fun. We used to talk for hours or just have a run. Felt bad cause you missed your fly. At that moment it felt so Hi guys, right. it's a new day. So, things have been glued, things have been dried, things are ready to go over there. So, we're on to the next. We all remember that we did some practicing. Putting these frets in on this piece. Well, now it's time to put the frets in the real piece. Yeah, so let's get it done.
Okay guys, as you remember, we had a bit of a problem with our depth on these first few frets that we came up with. But I came up with an idea that works to set our depth. So we found out that when we measured, we only had to go about the tooth length. Well, let's just glue on a piece of metal here so we can't go any deeper than we have to. Ha ha ha! And it fits in our jig. Let's get some cutting done. So, our depth stop trick worked awesomely. All of our fret slots are in the right spot. They're all exactly the same depth, and we're ready to put in our fret wire. So, let's get our glue ready, and let's pound these in here. And then we'll get to cutting them, and sanding them, and making them look really sweet. Okay, so now we have our frets are in, they are edged, they are level the edge. So everything looks good. Um, now remember, now we need to crown them. Get these little sharpies off of here. Um, and we had a little problem last time where we dug our file into the edge. So I did a little research and people taped these off with tape and it did work on my other test piece. So we're gonna tape this up and then roll these over with the file. This is gonna take a while. So why don't you guys go get a drink and come back when I'm done.
how you like that? Sweet, beautiful, polished, almost like a pro did it. But he didn't. First time I've ever done this, and man, that's a lot of work. But, wow. Amazing. So, we are at a stopping point. Yep, there's a lot that we put in this video. Um, why did I put a lot in this video? Because there won't be a video next week. I, myself, I'm going home to Michigan so I can celebrate with my parents for their 50th wedding anniversary. That's right, 50 years that my parents have been together. So, how old do you think I am? But there you go! So, I'll be gone for a week, and there won't be a video next week. But we are well on our way to getting this baby done. So, with that, hope you guys have a wonderful week without me, and I will see you next time.